it's time to upgrade the battery hashing rig and there we have it battery hasher 2.0 spare you all of the swearing and everything that went on trying to get all these cables and stuff to fit so basically all that I did was added another um, PCI Express power rail um, to do that I had to chop up all these and remake everything again from scratch I had to move this and move this a little bit and uh, put some heavier cables onto the Pico um, not that that was needed and of course the Pico has got a little external power there that usually runs this little loom here with a couple of SATA Molex and then 12 volt power and I've taken that off and obviously I've just got 12 volt power coming here for the motherboard go straight to the 48 volt to 12 volt DC to DC converter I uh, got two risers and I of course I've got my two R90X video cards that are very very second hand they've got fans that are all broken and stuff like that uh, to date this rig cost me less than two hundred dollars because I had everything that I've everything here except for the risers and their version 7 risers I got version 9 risers I might replace them out I don't know and that the only two things that I bought uh, motherboard was second hand those two video cards were left here from another mining rig that he didn't want to uh, reuse because they use an enormous amount of power um, these were donated uh, the cable has been reused 30 times so I guess I've already written that off so there's less than uh, there's probably only 200 bucks in this entire rig so let's go and get it down there and see if we can get it start to hash right out back down the power shed we've uh, come across some problems um, I think the problems come from the age and the power draw on these which I kind of always expected would be a problem um, I can't get the two cards to hash I can get the one card to hash in either slot or one card to hash in that one but as soon as I put two cards on it I think there's not enough power now that's rated as 720 watts or 60 amps output so if I turn this on I've got that around all of the positive now I don't know if that's the right way to do it or not but that's the way I've done it and we're getting 21 points 21.8 amps coming out of the batteries now if we take that off of there nice and careful now the incoming now somebody's going to be able to do some maths and work out the efficiency from this so I'll give you all the information you need so it's five point I think it went up to 5.8 we'll go 5.7 amps coming in and that 5.7 amps is at 23.61 volts so the volts on the 12 volt side are 12.37 volts so definitely somebody out there is going to be able to work out that efficiency probably going to help somebody I reckon now if that's taken 20 amps 20 by 12 What's the calculator? Uh, so if it's doing, so if it's doing 21 amps times that 12.3 volts, so that's 250 watts, give or take. So that's only doing 500 watts, doing two cards, maybe a little bit less, and it's still not running. So maybe I need to do some more tests. Maybe I do need to change those risers out, maybe because they're, they're only second-hand risers too, admittedly. Um, it's only running like at a third, maybe a little bit more of capacity. So maybe that's not as good as what I first thought, or maybe the Chinese rating on that, um, or the you know the overseas rate, like you know what I mean. The rating isn't what it should be. Um, I might in version three. I will. This has now been running for a few days. And this card here, with one card running, uh, I believe has made me approximately a, about a dollar, a dollar twenty US a day, which isn't that much money, but it's still better than feeding into the grid. It's using about two kilowatt hours per day, I guess, when it's running. If I was selling that two kilowatt hours to the grid, I'd only be getting twelve cents. So at a dollar twenty. Uh, it's still going to take many many months just for me to make my investment back on the really basic stuff here 
but it's still better than selling it to the grid and the power's not being wasted I guess. So tubers, there we go, I can't wait for version 3. Um, I'll get onto that today or tomorrow depending on how the wife and family's going. Um, there's not much change and it's still turning on and off via my um, uh, Watchmon. And the only difference here is I've done this to Control Logic. Where's my screen? There it is. So I've gone to Control Logic and then Critical, and I've changed that to 1,000. And that's going to uh, that's what 15 minutes or something like that, rather than uh, 10 minutes that I had it set at. And the threshold's at 53 volts. So that's when it turns on and off each day or in the mornings basically by 10 o'clock in the morning it's turned it back on again I think midnight last night it turned it turned off so I got a, I got a fair chunk of hours out of mining uh, once I change these cards around and get some better efficiency it's I think it's gonna I think this is gonna work hey I really secretly hope it does that's for sure but the proof is in this thing and how long this lasts righty let's get this done I'll see you on the next one cheers guys